only pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's All right, how's it going, guys? Davin here. And today I'm going to be doing a video not so much in a formal way I usually do it where I learn a plugin and try to explain it to the best way I can to you. I've found this plugin which is called Ter Terra or in this case Earth, the ultimate world generation. I have not tested this plugin out at all. I have not downloaded it, nothing. And basically you can even see right here, watch this resource. So you can basically understand that I don't know anything about this plugin other than what's presented here. And it looks really clean. And the main purpose is you can create custom world generation without any knowledge of java which is really cool i like the concept i just want to see the process so right here put a plugin in your folder install gia gia is a world generated api and in bucket okay so this is this does require another plugin just to make sure of that and pretty sure for gia as well so everything's gonna be first reaction and such so if you guys enjoyed this type of video leave a comment i'll try to do more if you guys like it if you don't and just want the regular videos i'll do those of course so i'm just gonna download everything and get them installed and see how this works out. Other than that, the only files that are gonna be in here is just a default op, op because I don't want all myself again to plugins and server.jar. So for the installation process, it says install both of these plugins and then add this concept into your bucket.yml. So that's what we're gonna do next. I didn't let it create all the files yet. I'm just doing this as fast as I can here. And we should be looking and what we're gonna be doing is just adding into the folder itself. So we're just gonna keep it world because we're not gonna really change much and then delete our old one. In Gia, there's literally nothing, just drag, drop, and that's it. And we can start it ahead. Both plugins are 1.16, so that is something to keep in mind, but I already am installing with a 1.16 configuration, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue for me. So I see here right here, Gia is loading, Terra is loading. Okay, and it looks like uh, Terra works better with paper as your server software. So it's just informing you, I don't have any idea if it worked or not, but yeah, it's a small little notice right there, and I kind of like that. So let's hop in game and actually see how this works out. Okay. So from the looks of it, looks pretty normal so far. And I um, I take back the words. I don't see, which is very odd. Pretty sure I'm supposed to be something here, but I that might be something about my imagination right now. Oh, food. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm missing the food hunger bar, but I don't think that's regarding the plugin. Regardless, it works. This is a custom world generation, which is completely free, may I point out. So, wow, I, I'm not gonna believe it. This looks really good for a free world generator. Mostly even better than a lot of them. This gives a very similar take between Open World Generator, which is another free world generator plugin, and Epic World in like a nice, good middle ground. I would not mind if Minecraft was built like this at all. This feels like it would, this feels like what it would be if they had the uh, cliffs update already or mountain cliffs or cave update, whatever. If it was out already, I think this would definitely be a good fit for it. They have very large mountains, custom trees and everything. It looks incredible so far. I'm definitely going to roam around and see what I can find. That is one thing the plugin did say, use paper for better performance. And I can agree with it. I've been feeling a bit more stuttered. This is only a four gigabyte server. And this is insane. Let me actually let me get a light here. So this is pretty epic. You get a whole internal cave system like this that just goes in and out. That is awesome. And it just keeps on going. It has some peaks where it has light, other peaks it doesn't. That's really cool. And it still continues. Like it's, it's, oh, it's a river system from what I noticed now. That's brutal. And we have a cave system right here. From what I know, it does have cave systems as well. You see a skeleton just chilling right here. Pretty nice. And this would be awesome as a cave update already. I am not going to lie with you. This does feel like it other than, than the new blocks they added. I'm sorry if it's a bit darker on your screen. I could remove shaders, but we're not going to do that. And yeah, as you can see right there, this is the whole cave system and everything. I'm going to try to light it up a bit here. It looks really fantastic. I know it has the features where it can be your own type of world generator where you can change certain configurations. We'll get a little bit into that at the end of it. I just want to explore the world generation, of course, and see how it looks like, because honestly, I would love so far doing a survival series on this. So from what I see, that is the jungle bit. And then we have a nice cliff area right here, which is awesome. Like the transition is not harsh or instant at all. And it feels natural in a way. I mean, this wouldn't be too natural since we're used to more of Minecraft default, but it still looks awesome and not so forced on you. And we have smaller bits over here like this. This looks cool. These would definitely be my favorite type of areas, more woody type. I don't know how to explain it. I'm doing my best here. But yeah, 
I'm going to be genuine with you guys. If you guys want to see a survival SMP series, put your comments in below or leave a certain amount of likes. I don't have a number on you guys. Whatever you start in the comments goes on. But if you guys would like to see a, a SMP survival series, I would totally be down for it because this is a really nice world generator and it'll be something to break up against, you know, the classic Minecraft. I would like something different and I would be down for this. So leave your thoughts in the description down below. I would really like your opinion if you would like to see this or not. Another thing I have seen is that they definitely implement a lot more of the 1.16 blocks as this is as I understand why this wouldn't work for the other ones. As you can see, the stair blocks, which have been waterlogged, go nice and fluent with everything. This is amazing. And here we go, we have a Taiga, or I totally forget the names. From afar, they actually look very normal and not too different. But once you start getting up, you can see like different tree variants like this, which is pretty cool. And I would love seeing that survival, like default Minecraft. That would be amazing. Like these don't look like they have changed much, but they have in a way. They became a bit more lower, a bit more, you know, leafy. And they added different types. This looks like a ruin area and a nice small transition between them. And of course the deserts. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan regarding this as I do still prefer the old deserts as they're rugged and not so easy to go around, which is basically how a desert is. Well, this one, stone slabs, once they had the actual sand slabs, probably I'll agree with it, but until now, I'll, I'll give it this. I like the effort put in, and you can't really throw that away, can you? I believe the oceans are still the same. I can't be certain, but yeah, they just look like they have been grown already, which is nice. Less growing for us to do. And they also haven't removed any of the old systems, like ravines or anything like that. They're still here, and I'm pretty sure you can find even bigger cave systems. Let me actually grab something bigger here. All right, so I'm just doing the casual exploring, and it looks like they just implemented a lot of the default biomes and upgraded in a small manner. Nothing too big, nothing too harsh, and they added a few bigger mountains, of course, and those more rocky mountains as well, which which honestly look amazing. The performance on your server does suffer a tiny bit, but nothing too much, as this is only a single player roaming around in the world. I'm loading a lot more chunks than you would usually, which is understandable, but overall, this looks and feels great. I only felt stuttered a bit, and this is on a completely new world and everything, so I would understand why, but... The experience and the world generation is amazing. They kept that good feel of Minecraft while still just expanding it by the littles. And overall, this plugin looks and feels amazing. It's free, of course, so there's a there's a big pro right there, which doesn't give you a reason not to try it out. And there's one more biome that I have not seen yet, which is these ice spike biomes. They do have a bit to lack of taste regarding the normal ice spikes where you'd see a ton of them, but it's a nice subtle way to add it in. You still have cave and ore generation like normal, so there's nothing changing regarding that. It's just you're up amplifying how the biomes are, you're giving them a bit of juice. Overall, I'm really impressed with the plugin itself, and there are more world customization options to it. I'm gonna check that out right now. I'm gonna check that out right now with you guys, and let's see what we can let's see what we can find out about it. And also, this tree is really cool. I don't know what's up with it, but it's amazing. So from reading everything here, it is open source, so it's no pay, there is no paid support nothing terry is completely free or terra in this case i'm calling it terraria when i shouldn't and everything is configurable through files so there's no actual schematics or anything like that so we're just going to hop into plugins folder go in terra and the configuration so this is pretty straightforward biome search resolution for it's not much here that i would know of and the world files itself doesn't have much either so we have the packs so this is default flora so yeah I'm sorry for not being able to explain fully what's happening here. Again, you wouldn't require any Java knowledge of this whatsoever, but you would have to play around with it a lot. This is just first impressions and anything like that. If you guys want me to do a full tutorial how to put a custom world generator or anything like that, leave it in the comments down below. I would do it. But for now, first impressions and everything, I can't do much. Just show off the plugin and see if it had potential. I really wish I saw this one. This looks amazing. I have no idea where I can find it. But overall, the plugin is there and it works and it's amazing for the price and everything. It's great. I would recommend you guys check it out in the description down below. And don't forget to check out Revive Node and answer my question regarding the SMP series in the comments. Other than that, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, leave your thoughts on your on what would you like to see next and how you like this video experience in general. Other than that, I'm Diamond and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers.